Hello, hello. So I did this video already, <laughs> uh, but I did it as a live and it's not going to be saved for uh, a number of days. Therefore, I thought I'd redo it on YouTube so it could be saved and maybe shared. So here you go. I'll explain something to you with a symbol that, I, that will be flipping around and everything will be very easy to understand. Check it out. This is something we all are familiar with because we use it every day. It's the World Wide Web, right? World Wide Web. Like a spider web meant to catch flies. <laughs> okay, that's the spider web. You see how good an artist I am? <laughs> so here's our World Wide Web. And um, it's a weapon. <laughs> it's a weapon to catch us with the, the false light. The real light is out there. And in here, in our heart. Okay? False light. You know, just like when a spider web is, is weaved in front of a, a city light, an electric lamp, and then all the flies, they just blindly fly to it and get stuck. Hmm? We all get stuck in it too, as soon as we turn it on. <laughs> and uh, that's what's being used to rate to, how do you say it? To wage World War III. So we're just flipping our symbol around. Okay, it's the same symbol. So this is World War III. But how can this be a weapon for this? Well, using millimeter waves. Okay, that's how it works. Meter, oops, waves. So these are radio frequencies that uh, is used by this signal, okay? There are so many very credible and, and thorough uh, scholarly studies approved by the... Um, the the governments as well that that they back even into the 1970s and probably before that but i i went as far as the 1970s to find studies that clearly state that this technology first of all it's not a technology that comes to us as a signal from the sky because it works uh it amplifies with proximity of the devices that reverberate the signal that that uh sort of um, convey the signal. So one device to another device to another device. We know that lead light bulbs reverberate the signal. Okay. We know that all of our devices like phones and, and uh, computers and laptops and all the devices that use um, the World Wide Web and carry millimeter waves. And even I think Bluetooth isn't that great. Okay. So as many devices as you have, the more devices you have in proximity to one another, the more your signal is amplified, amped up. Okay? And I know it's not very popular to make an effort and go read scholarly studies, but, you know, awareness is uh, the best uh, defense weapon we have. Okay, if you don't go and read the studies, then you, you can't know if this makes sense or not. But once you've read the studies and you know how these affect all of the fluids of our body, including bone marrow, and the longer you're exposed to it and the most more frequently you're exposed to it, the more damage is done. And the more devices close to one another, including the light bulbs, there are, well, the more your damage is done. And also this substance that some of us might be aware of, also nicknamed this, is um, way more efficient than copper to convey frequencies of all kinds, also thermal frequencies like heat. Okay, so radio frequencies, Thermal frequencies are super amplified with this, a lot more than copper, okay? 
So this is another topic that we got to make an effort and go read about because there are studies available explaining how great it is. Whatever heating pad you you plug in or even the ones you rub and put in your in your boots in the winter time, they're full of this, okay? This is everywhere. And if you look at the movie Lucy, <laughs> Lucy, I think it was uh in 2014, at the end of the movie, she turns into that. And and you know what that turns into? A supercomputer. Like Google. So it's not like we haven't been told and shown about all this. And the other topic I want to include, because it's connected to this. Uh-huh. Way, way connected to this. I don't know how to say it. We've been uh, warned about certain camps. Some call them this. Okay. And funny enough, the latest uh, catastrophes that, that took place uh, with, you know, floods and hurricanes and all that in the United States, well, reports that were published about it were all surprised that they didn't come and bring any help. Any food, any sleep, uh, any um, uh, rescues, and all that. They didn't show up. Well, they didn't show up because their purpose is not to save people. Okay? Listen, this is how we read it normally, right? Because we, we have a way of reading things. But we need to be a little more creative and, and just, you know, mirror it. Okay, let's let's write it the other way around. American electro frequency camps. And remember, it's a technology of proximity. So the more devices you have close to one another and piled up on top of, the, of one another, the more the signal is amped up and the more damage is done to your body. So that's why you need 15 minute cities where everything costs so much. And the wages don't follow, don't keep up. So everyone has to live in big blocks, either that they buy or rent at three times the prices they used to be, while the wages haven't gone up, not even one, one time. Okay? And so you want to buy a, a bit of food, it's three times more expensive. You want to rent or buy a place to live, it's three times more expensive. You want to pay your insurance, it's three times more expensive than it was, let's say, uh, seven years ago. That's so we don't have a choice but to, to be really, really close one to one another and have a lot of people living together in one space with a lot of devices sending a whole bunch of amplified signals to one another. So basically, who's waging war on who? Well, who's holding the weapon? We are. We're holding the weapons. Our phones and our devices. Okay, we're holding the weapons. We have the choice in our hand. We can turn it off once in a while. We can leave it at home once in a while. We can turn it off at night. All of us, you know. We can turn off the, the signal, that signal, right? We have, uh, we have a say. But are we going to use it? What I notice is um, they've automated everything everywhere and there's less and less human service. They're getting us used to it because somehow, uh, I mean, this can be amped up pretty quickly. And it's also in, in a, it's also exchanging a signal with this. This is very much so amplifying the signal. And you know where they put this nowadays? In everything. You put it in everything. Even the paint on the streets and the highways has some of this in it. The excuse is GPS signals. So we can, you know, rely on Google Maps and all that. When we Google, uh, yeah, stuff like that. So we, I'm the first one to use it because I can't find my way around when I travel without uh, the maps being on turned on. Because I learned to drive really late in my life. And I've been moving around the province. 
So that's pretty much what I wanted to touch upon. There's a lot more to say about it. For, for instance, yeah, the automation of everything everywhere. Like, I was going to work for the mines, the uh, granite mines in, in the eastern township. So I studied to work in there a little for a little while. And I was watching videos about by Polycore because I wanted to know who belonged to who, like the pyramid of... Uh, of the mining industry and basically polycore was a big one you know owning them all <laughs> it's a worldwide thing and the boss of them made a video and in the video he said you know we want to be carbon neutral by 2025 and we're automating everything and we want to be part of the new ether is what he was saying word for word but do you know what carbon neutral implies Neutral means neutralized, not breathing, not farting. So not many people left, right? How can you be carbon neutral without, you know, I mean, as long as there's people breathing, breathing and farting, uh, you have carbon. <laughs> so it's not just about eliminating cars, uh, gas, gasoline cars. It's, it's a uh, neutral means neutral, you know, so it's, it's weird. And it's true that everywhere you call nowadays, there's less and less service. I mean, uh, it's not that recent. It's been a gradual process, you know, less staff in the hospitals since the 1990s, uh, less uh, services in the countryside. Like, no, you can no longer have your own doctor. You can no longer have a clinic. You can no longer have uh, so many uh shops and restaurants and grocery stores in the countryside you know it's becoming so rare that people have and, and then they're making um, house housing insurance and price so high and the price of gas so high that people in the countryside more and more what they do is they move here because i mean it's more practical because you have access to something and you have access to services and and, and groceries and pharmacies and all that so it, it, it corresponds to what I had read by 80%. They wanted the UN. I read that like 20 years ago. They wanted 80% of population living here. And then eventually to go down. Claiming that the world is overpopulated and we're overconsuming and blah, 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 blah. So make of it what you will. That's what I heard and that's what I read. And and because of that, that's why I'm understanding this, this from that. And that's why I'm understanding this from that and that. Okay? Go read go read some studies. Don't just judge my words. Don't just look at my ugly writing and say, oh man, she's crazy. No, 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 no. Make a little effort. Call me crazy if you will. I don't really give a... Hmm? But make an effort. Go read about this. Go read a lot about the properties of this and every everywhere it's being it's used it's even used in some um, hygienic pads for women it's used in so many things like it's incredible and that's what it is did you ever hear about this and this is related to this okay and, and this is what they want to make of us what's going to be left of us will be recorded in the supercomputer and then it's not the first reset we have it's just that, that that's a new way to do it. There were other resets. Have you ever heard about the mud flood? Have you ever heard about the bell event? Have you ever been made aware of anything of that, of that kind? I mean, resets after resets. And it seems like right now, they're creating the reset, the population reset. I don't know if normally it's creating by it, it, it it's happening as a natural cycle or if it's always man made I don't know. There's a lot I I don't know yet, but I guess we're going to find out eventually. But there's been a lot of resets, so you got to you got to find out about this event. It's known about. It's not cuz you don't know about it that it's not a fact and it's not known about you know it's provable it's all provable you know if something sounds out there it's it's just because you've never been made familiar with it 
because you don't study anything. You just believe or disbelieve what people say. You got to go a little further and make your own observations, study the topic. You know, that's how it works. And and I, th I say, you know, we become uh, actively responsible for our destiny and stop trying to elect someone who we think is going to be our savior. No, it never, it's never going to be the case. Have you ever heard of any savior, any elect individual talk about this? Do you, if, if your saviors never mention this, well, they're not here to save you. They're here to distract you. If your saviors don't talk about these things and the effect of this and how it wo really works and the, the reason why the army put this in the end of the peop the hand of the people. I mean, when I was in high school, first grade of high school, a guy, we didn't have the internet yet in our lives. And a guy had made a an oral uh, presentation because we all had to do that in school, right? And he was doing an oral presentation telling us that there was going to be a world wide web, that the army was getting a gift to the people. It's been created by the army. Did, did you know that? The World Wide Web is an army gift to the, to the people, in Canada at least, I guess in the United States as well. And he was telling us it was going to be a, an electronic highway and we were going to love it and it was going to be called the World Wide Web. Okay? That's what it is. It's a spider web and we're the flies and the flies are going to fall soon if we don't, you know... And we should have realized it when there were waves of people getting sick back since nineteen, uh, since twenty twenty, in China, when when it started, and we saw that on TV. Okay, it's an area where they had just installed this in public places, and Chinese people they all have two phones in their pocket. My children's dad is Chinese, and he's from there, and he explained that to me that they all have at least two phones. I don't remember why they do. I don't understand why they need to have two phones, but they do. So imagine how amplified the signal was when they amped it up because it was it was to to start the pandemic madness, you know? And and here too people got sick. People got sick. We got sick, so sick. And the symptoms were exactly like a, an extremely bad, you know, respiratory uh virus so we believed in it we said wow i caught it too and i was so sick like never before in my life but who says it wasn't this how come we're not smart enough to realize that it could be something like this because we haven't made the effort of read reading what the effects are on our upon our health how it affects our organs our our breathing our hearts everything it can do so many things but we got to make the effort but I noticed one thing, once, once humanity, especially pale faces like us, you know, once we're addicted to anything, may it be sugar, smoking, drinking, once we're dependent upon something, once we're used to it, okay, or the World Wide Web, once we're addicted to it, once we rely upon it for our happiness and comfort and whatever we call it, it's really hard to convince people to stop using it because it's a, they, because somehow the elect people don't care. They just let that be on the market for us. Okay, refined sugar is 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 the worst thing in the world. It's been bleached with aluminum and table salt and 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 water from the tap as well. They, it all gets bleached through with aluminum. This is full of heavy metals, the cigarettes, the commercial industrial cigarettes, and you know, and so on. Well, spirits and spirits, they, they, they screw up your spirit. <laughs> and you know, this is the false light, just like a spider web in, in front of a city light. Yep, we're addicted to it. We love it. And I'm guilty of it too. Eh? I'm not blaming everybody except myself. I'm including myself in this. Well, we can take charge again. We can decide any any time to take take charge. Turn off the the Wi-Fi at least when you're sleeping. Turn it off. Why not? You know, we can do things. We don't have to carry our device when we go for a hike in the woods. We don't have to carry our device when we take a hike on the street and go to the grocery store. We can, but we don't have to. We have free will. Okay, take care. Bye.